uh, I became the men's leader of our church. And, and I just started talking to the men about having men in their life that they can be completely honest with. And I would be standing in front of these guys and I'll be doing these trainings and workshops and, and, and I would just pull my pockets out of my jeans. I'm a boots and jeans guy. I love horses. Like I said, when you ask them about relaxing, so I've got boots and jeans on all the time. So I pull my pockets of my jeans out, took all of my contents out of my pocket. And I'm telling the guys, you got to have somebody that you can get down to the lint with. I mean, that knows everything. I'm not, not 15 guys, not 10, maybe three to five guys, maybe, but at least one or two guys, you cannot be walking by yourself. So I would just share these, 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 these truth with these men. And then I, I realized that for myself, but over time, my wife would hear me and talk about that. And she said, honey, you, you need to pray about that whole Lent thing you talk about with the men. Like, and I'm like, I'm just telling them they got to have somebody they can get down to the Lent with. And so through prayer, man, and just, just listening and, and God just gave me the, the, the acronym Lent, L-I-N-T, life I never tell, because men don't talk. We talk about our finances. We talk about our, you know, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Uh, we talk about everything under the sun. We just don't talk about those deep life issues that keep us up at night or keep us preoccupied during the day. And that's the Lent issues, life I never tell.